This event makes number four on our top 10 list of events of 2020, Hurricane Isaias. Isaias, the earliest I named storm on record for the Atlantic Basin, will be remembered for its extensive tornadoes, widespread wind damage, and significant storm surge. Isaias formed about 500 miles east of the Leeward Islands on July 28th requiring tropical storm warnings for the Northeast Caribbean, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. Unusually, Isaias didn't weaken but rather strengthen as it moved over the Dominican Republic on July 30th, prompting hurricane warnings for much of the Bahamas. The next three days would end up being stressful for residents in the southeastern United States. And now, as you can see, it's getting closer and closer as that storm surge and that the storm just off the coast is pushing that water on shore. From August 1st to the 3rd, East Ahias paralleled the Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina coastline, swirling just offshore for hundreds of miles. East Ahias finally made landfall near Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina, on the night of August 3rd as a Category 1 hurricane. But the worst of the storm was still yet to come. East Ahias began picking up speed. The storm started moving faster through Virginia and up the East Coast, bringing widespread wind damage from mid-Atlantic to the Northeast. Thousands of trees were damaged and millions of people lost power, some for more than a week. Amid the wind damage, at least 39 tornadoes were associated with Isaias, some unusually strong for a tropical system, others long-lived. Delaware had its longest tornado on record, on the ground for more than 35 miles. Isaias also helped produce a 600-yard-wide EF3 tornado with winds up to 145 miles per hour in North Carolina. Isaias was the fifth tropical cyclone to make landfall along the U.S. coastline out of a total of 12 for the 2020 hurricane season. To see all of the top 10 weather events of 2020, go to weathernationtv.com. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Steve Glacier.